In this lesson, we are going to demonstrate how to find the distance between two points shown on the coordinate plane using the Pythagorean theorem, and we are also going to find the distance between any two given points when only given the ordered pairs of those points using the distance formula. If you are given two points on the coordinate plane and you are asked to find the distance between them, drawing a right triangle will allow you to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between any two given points. In this case, we are trying to find the distance between point A and point B. The distance between point A and point B will form the hypotenuse of our right triangle. A vertical line can be drawn to form one of the right triangle's legs. We can easily measure the distance of any vertical line on the coordinate plane. A horizontal line can be drawn to form the other leg of the right triangle. We can easily measure the distance of any horizontal line on the coordinate plane just as we can any vertical line. Using the grid lines, we can see that the vertical line is 8 units in length. We may also use the grid lines to see that the horizontal line is 6 units in length. Now that we know the length of side A and side B, we may plug those values into our equation and find the length of side C. The equation shown is the Pythagorean Theorem. The legs of a right triangle will always be represented by the variables A and B. The values of A and B in this case are 6 and 8. The Pythagorean Theorem states that we have to square those two values. 6 squared is 36, and 8 squared is 64. After squaring the lengths for A and B, you must add those results together. 36 plus 64 is 100. Whatever the length of C is, must be a value that when squared will equal 100 units. The only thing that you can square to make 100 is 10, so C must be equal to 10. Or you may simply take the sum of the squares of A and B and find the square root of that sum. The square root of 100 is 10. So now we know that the distance between points A and B is 10 units. Now what if you had to find the distance between two points when only given the ordered pairs of the two points and you were not given a coordinate plane to work with? We will use the same two points that we did in our problem to demonstrate how you would find the distance between two points if they were not shown on the coordinate plane. But in order to do this, the ordered pairs of those points would have to be given. Point A is located at the X location 2 and the Y location of 5, and for point B, the X value is 8 and the Y value is negative 3. Now that we know the location of these two points, we may use the distance formula to solve and figure out what the distance is between these two points. The distance formula is really just a variation of the Pythagorean Theorem. The first thing that we are going to do is plug in all the corresponding values to their appropriate variable within the equation. x sub 2 represents the x value of our second point. In this case, that value is positive 8 x sub 1 represents the x value of our first point, in this case that is positive 2. y sub 2 represents the y value of our second point, which is negative 3. And y sub 1 represents the y value of our first point, which is positive 5. After plugging your values into the correct positions, subtract the x values and square the result, and also subtract the y values and square the result. 8 minus 2 is 6, and negative 3 take away 5 is negative 8. Next, we must square both of our differences. The differences of x were 6, and 6 squared is 36. The differences of the y values was negative 8, and negative 8 squared is positive 64. Remember that a negative times a negative equals a positive. And the reason that the formula requires us to do this is because distance is always going to be a positive number. For example, the distance of a triangle leg cannot be negative 5 or negative 6. 
That's why everything is in terms of absolute values when dealing with the distance formula. After squaring the differences of the x locations and the y locations, you add those two results together. 36 plus 64 is 100. After adding your results together, take the square root of that sum and that will give you the distance between our two given points. In this case, the square root of 100 is 10. Looking back at our work, we can see that everything that we highlighted will allow us to find the distance of the triangle leg using the x values. And if we take the square root of 36 at the bottom, that is 6, which is the distance of one of our triangle's legs. Notice that all of the steps that are now highlighted will allow us to find the distance of the other triangle's leg using the y values. And the square root of 64 is 8, which would give us the distance of the other triangle leg. And by adding the squares of each of the triangle's leg distances and taking the square root of that sum, that will give you the length of your hypotenuse, which is also the distance between our two given points, in this case, 10 units. So we can see that the distance formula really is just a variation of the Pythagorean theorem.